Nairobi. Now, the 60th Jamuhuri Day celebrations was, was marked with pomp and color as thousands of patriots gathered at the historic Uhuru Gardens to celebrate the end of colonial rule and with opti optimism for consideration of unity and growth. Tuesday morning, Kenyans from different walks of life thronged the historic Uhuru Gardens, known to have hoisted the Kenyan flag, to mark the first year of independence on December 12, 1963. <laughs> the dignitaries arrived in style, from the elegant dressing to patriotic attires themed around the Kenyan flag. His Excellency Johnson Sakaja. Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja strode in memorably after disembarking from an iconic motor car reserved for such occasions. The youth creation and sports themed event witnessed a beehive of activities from consecration, presentation and trooping of presidential and regimental colors displayed by the Kenya forces to elaborate parades mounted by different Kenyan troops and students displaying the Kenyan flag. Born again Christian, the celebration marking 60 years since the country became a republic saw the young and old entertainers claiming the stage, portraying through acts how the Kenyan entertainment sector has evolved from the old to the new generation. Flanked by DJ Afro, whose matri of the mic wowed the audience, unlike previous celebrations where Kenyans were entertained by various genres, right from traditional dancers to renowned government parastatal choirs, this year entertainment focused on the youth. <laughs> President William Ruto arrived at the stadium at around 9.48 a.m. and presided over the second trooping of the color ceremony for the 25th Machinized Infantry Battalion since he became the commander-in-chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. The history of the military ritual is as old as the formation of armies in the 17th century. The event is significant for every unit in the Kenyan military and it is recorded in the unit's history. Since Kenya's independence, the presidential and regimental colors replaced the colonial queens and regimental colors. The colors are the highest honor for any regiment or unit and are well guarded and treasured. Losing the colors leads to the disbandment of the regiment or unit. Convicts serving long-term sentences at the Nakuru Main Prison celebrate.